Hey guys, welcome. I'm Lala's Grand. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for coming back and for always showing me love. I appreciate all of you. But today we're gonna be talking about the Juvia's Place Natural Radiance Foundation. Now I actually do have her original foundation. This isn't my first time trying any of her face complexion products. I also have like her foundation shade sticks as well as her concealer. So I am gonna use her concealers today. So let's get into the specs of this foundation. So this is the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. It says that it's a high performance hybrid formula that delivers buildable medium to full coverage coverage. Juvia's Place is always trying to give us full coverage, y'all. With proprietary active skincare ingredients and natural herbs, it's rich in vitamin A, vitamin E, and some antioxidants that helps to protect your skin. So it's supposed to have a natural radiant finish, weightless and breathable formula that melts into the skin without weighing it down, easy glide and blendability, and again, medium to full coverage. And it says that it's non-cakey, long-lasting formula. So I am gonna do a wear test with this foundation today. So she did release it in 33 different shades. I do think that the shade range is okay of course there could have been more shades that she should have released by the way you guys i did go into ulta and purchase these but i will say ulta doesn't have every shade online because for me my perfect shade is like kenya they didn't have Kenya in stores. So just be mindful, if you already know your perfect shade with Juvia's Place, go ahead and order it online on the website. But when I was in store, since they didn't have my perfect shade, I went ahead and picked up two other shades. So we're gonna test these shades out today. Oh, and by the way, the two shades that I purchased are 150 Kano and 205 Tanzania. Oh wait, you guys, I almost forgot that I purchased her new powder foundations as well. Okay, so I think for this video, I'm gonna stick with the Luminous Foundations. And what I'm gonna do is, I did purchase one of these shades to apply under my eye, like just to set my concealer, my highlight. So I will use the powder to set my under eye highlight, but as far as using it as a foundation, I'll have to test that out in another video. She released 20 different shades of this powder and it retails for $18. And it's described as a buildable custom coverage. So I guess you can build up the coverage to how you see fit. The two shades that I purchased are Cabo Medium One and Niger Deep Dark Two. So as far as these powder foundations, just looking at the packaging so far, I will say that they are pretty thick and bulky. I almost kind of wish it was like less plasticky and it wasn't so bulky. So when you open it up, it actually does have a mirror inside. But when you open them up, see how thick that is? Oh, so there's the other compartment where the sponge is kept and obviously mine just fell out. Let me show you guys. Okay, this is Cabo. This is the shade Cabo. And this is gonna work perfect for my under eye powder set. So yes, yeah, so you have this compartment here. It is nice that there's holes in there just to let the sponge breathe, but I never really use the sponge anyways. But for those people that do wanna use a sponge, I think it's fine, but it's just so like, it's just so bulky. I guess maybe if you're comparing it to Fenty's powder foundation. Now, okay, let me hold these two up together. Look at the size, obviously it's smaller, but I really do love how like small and compact the powder foundation is for Fenty. This is just so like big and bulky. Like look at them on the side. Now Fenty also has that compartment where when you lift up the powder foundation, there's a mirror here and then there's an area where this is kept. But I don't know, this is just really big and bulky for some reason. Whew, okay, so I actually did not take my Fenty powder with me when I purchased the one from Ulta in store. So I'm glad that the shades look similar. So I'm swatching both of them and the one from Fenty is honestly more neutral, which I do like for my under eye highlight just to set it. And then the other one from Juvia's Place does have like more of a warmer tone to it. So there you go, just for comparison. So if you wanna see a video with me testing out this actual foundation powder as a foundation, let me know. I'm not sure how many people would wanna see that, but for today, we're gonna to use this one. All right, so let's start this foundation wear test, you guys. So I'm gonna basically do the last thing that I did in my last video, which is pretty much always use the products that I normally use whenever I'm testing out a new foundation. So I am using the mattifying primer in my T-zone from Makeup Revolution. And then I'm going to use my pore primer on the other areas of my face. Okay, so she does have instructions on here. It says shake well with cap facing downward. So I'm going to make sure I shake this before using it. And we actually do have to test out these shades. I almost forgot. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my chest. The first one I'm going to go ahead and swatch is Cano. And then I'm going to swatch Tanzania. I really do like the packaging on these. But I really love a glass bottle for my foundation. You know, it's something about a glass bottle that's just so luxury. So I just realized that the shade Tanzania is described as deep with cool undertone. I didn't realize it's a cool undertone, but we're gonna go ahead and still swatch it. If I knew that the undertone description was as cool, 
I probably wouldn't have bought it because I'm warm golden. But Kenya is my perfect shade, which they don't have in store in Ulta. All right, so this first shade is Kano. And I actually do wanna swatch the powder foundation shades next to this one. Okay, so Kano doesn't look that bad. It actually looks like it would probably work even though I don't have Kenya. Let me just lightly blend this in and see what it looks like. Okay, good, this does look like it's a match. Let me go ahead and clean off this brush. And I wanna go ahead and swatch Tanzania next, even though I know Tanzania isn't gonna work. I think I'll swatch Tanzania like right here. Okay, yeah, so Tanzania is not only lighter, it's definitely of a cooler undertone, which is good, because that means it matches what she's describing it as, so that's not gonna work. I do wanna go ahead and swatch the powder foundation though. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right here. And this is Niger. Oh, that's too dark. Okay, so Niger's too dark. Niger's not gonna work. But you know what? It might actually blend in a little bit. No, it is too dark. So if you guys do wanna see a video on the powder foundation, let me know. I'd probably have to go pick up another shade since this shade will not work for me. And you know what? I don't think that the shade names matched the shade names of her Liquid Luminous Foundation. I feel like the shade names for the powder ones are different. But yeah, for today, it's looking like we're gonna use Kano. It's like really blending into my skin. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this foundation look. All right, I'm just taking one pump. By the way, I feel like this pump has really been giving me issues already on both of the foundations. I don't know if anyone else has had an issue, but just trying to get a full pump out is a lot of issues. Okay, finally. Oh, now I don't even know what a full pump is. Okay, let me squeeze it again. Cause I like to apply one pump and see what kind of coverage I get and then go on with the second pump. All right, so we're gonna start off with one pump, y'all. Let's see what kind of coverage we get with this foundation. And by the way, if you don't like cherry, I don't know if you're gonna like the scent of this foundation. Personally, I feel like it's a really strong scent and I really don't like the smell of cherry or cherry things. So it's not terrible. I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but it's just that I feel like the scent is really strong, or at least for me it is. And this is about one pump that we're blending out right here. I had issues trying to get the foundation out, so I'll say it's about one pump, maybe a little bit more. I wanna see what kind of coverage I get. Okay, what do you guys think about this shade match? I actually do feel like this shade match is a really good shade. I feel like it works. As far as the luminosity of the foundation, I do have some natural sheen, some natural shine. It is blended out really easily. And with what I've blended out so far on my face, I really do feel like it's giving me medium coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage just yet. I can still see areas poking through on my skin, but I do think it looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it's buildable. I'm gonna add one more pump. All right, pump number two. I'm almost sure that this is gonna build up to full coverage only because that other foundation, that original I Am Magic foundation is so full coverage. So the only thing that I don't like about her original foundation is that it transfers so easily. And also how it wears throughout the day. I feel like I'm like super greasy, but what do you guys think about this coverage so far now that we have a second pump on? It definitely is buildable coverage though. I didn't color correct because anytime I'm testing out a foundation for the first time, just so I can see what kind of coverage I get, I normally do not color correct. All right, so let's talk first impressions with this foundation, you guys. All right, so just looking at it right off the bat, I do love the luminosity that it's giving. I do feel like it's skin-like, which I do want. The only thing though is that the way it lays on the skin, I don't feel like this is the foundation where you could just put on powder and then just go be out the door. At least for me, it isn't. 
I feel like to balance out the way the foundation looks like, I have to apply highlighter, contour, everything that I would normally do. This one does have a skin-like appearance, but I don't feel like it lays on the skin as nice as I would want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and apply highlight and contour. So the time right now is 2.15 p.m. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear this foundation for a full 10 hours. I'm gonna wear it as long as I possibly can. But let me show you guys the time. So it's 2.15 p.m. So I am gonna be using a lot of her different products today. I cannot wait to dip into this cultured palette, you guys. I haven't done a video with this, nor have I actually used it. Have I? Yeah, no, I haven't used this palette yet. I might even use her liquid eyeshadows. I feel like these are so pretty. I'm definitely gonna use her bronzer palettes. I use these on a regular basis anyways. I love these. I'm gonna try this eye pencil again. I did try this before and I didn't really like it. I felt like the product didn't glide on as nicely, but I'm gonna try it again today. And I'm gonna absolutely use one of her lip products. I don't know which one yet, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this look. Okay, this is looking nice so far. So I did go ahead and blend out her concealer as my highlighter and then for my contour, I use my Huda Beauty Tantor. And the shade that I use is number nine. So I do wanna go ahead and use this foundation powder to set under my eyes because that's what I normally do before going in with powder. And I love that technique. It creates a really nice seamless look. So I'm just gonna tap my brush into this powder. And let's go ahead and apply this and see what it looks like under the eye. And I did blend out any last minute creases, by the way. Ooh, okay, I really do like the shade. And let's do this other eye. Okay, I do like using this powder to set my under eye. This looks really nice. I normally will use Fenty or Makeup Forever, but this powder, Oh, she's here to stay. I'm really happy that this powder worked out. I was hoping that it did to set. It looks really nice. I'm telling you guys, there's something special about just setting your under eye with like a foundation or face powder before going in with your loose powder. It just makes it look so good. And I really like the way it looks. I wanted to see if it would oxidize because if it was, then that's gonna be a big no for me, especially you know for your under eye highlight. And it's not like oxidizing or anything and staying true to the color that laid down and I really do actually like the foundation powder. So I do need to finish my base, but so far I do like the way things are looking and how it's coming along. So I am gonna go ahead and zoom through this. If you guys wanna know what products I'm using, I'm gonna put everything down below in the description box. All right, you guys, so this is a finished look. I love how this look came out. I loved using the Culture Palette and her liquid eyeshadows. 
these are really nice and you know what my skin my foundation it looks really nice and this lip combo you guys know i live for a good lip combo it looks gorgeous so my whole look is completed i'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation as long as I can, I cannot guarantee it's gonna be 10 hours and I will be back to check in with you guys wow. later. I promise there is absolutely no way I plan to wear this foundation this long. Let me show you guys the time right now. The time right now is 1.51 a.m. Come on camera, focus. You see it? I've had this foundation on since 2.15 p.m. That is almost 12 hours of wearing this foundation. Let's talk about how we're looking like right now. I need to reapply my lips though, hold on. And I do wanna take a paper towel and just do as I normally do and get these oils. Okay, so for my final thoughts on this foundation, I've had this foundation on obviously for almost 12 hours now, but I will say it definitely is medium, buildable coverage. All of the things that it promises, I would mostly agree with. I did have some breaking up around my mouth, which I know is expected for me, but the way that I know that this foundation is breaking up just on its own, that it's not lasting as long as it should have, is simply because I'm having the foundation break up around my cheeks, which usually does not happen for me with the foundations that I usually use. So I do think it's a good foundation, but I also wanna be fair because realistically, I've worn this foundation for almost 12 hours. And honestly, I don't recommend wearing this foundation for that super long. But you know, I did check back in with my skin around like the six hour, eight hour mark. And I have to say that my skin did look good. I did start to see where it started to break up, but it didn't look <laughs> as how it looks now. It looked even better. And of course I developed the normal oil that I usually do in my T-zone. The fragrance in this foundation, I'm honestly not a fan. I actually wish that she would have just left that out because I can probably see the fragrance in this turning a lot of people away from it. I usually don't mind fragrance in my products, but I will say that this cherry smell, to me, I feel like it's somewhat strong. I don't wanna say overpowering, but it's a strong scent. As soon as you pump the foundation out, you can smell it. But overall, this is a good foundation. Oh, and one more thing, if you are gonna pick up this foundation in store, just know that Ulta does not have all of the shades in store. So if you already know your shade in the original foundation, go ahead and order it online. Oh, and these lashes, I do like these lashes. I think they look really good. Oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video along with this super long wear test that was totally not expected, unplanned, and I'm not promising these super long wear tests because they are so rough. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on this video to help me out. And also, let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna see. Um, let me know if you guys really are interested in seeing me actually do a full wear test with the powder foundation. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.